Hello everybody, this is Toy Zaros and welcome to another edition of Transformer Facts Friday. This is a weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel, which again gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly that. Keep you guys updated with things that I find on in the world of Transformers, and of course I'll let you know what's happening with this YouTube channel. So obviously, uh, all my doom and destruction while the first two packs arrived yesterday, I've got the Windsweeper video done. I think Breakdown seems to be the next most popular one. Uh, but again, at the moment, I've got so much to catch up on, so expect quite a few reviews, maybe even a couple of extra ones thrown in over the weekend um, as well. I've got third-party news, mainline news, and of course, uh, convention news as well. Now, we've seen some of these images before, but some of them we haven't. So this is basically, this is Transformers 1, this is their mainline wave robo battlers and i think these look really interesting they're quite intriguing to be honest because they remind me very much of the very old rock'em sock'em uh, robots so this is the article from tfw 2005 and as i said we've seen a couple of images of these before but not really all of the packaging and not how many transformation steps it is. So they've got these controls, which you can see there. In fact, if I spin it around out the back, you put your fingers into them and then you can move them around and you can actually make them battle. You can see there. So I think the packaging looks really good. I think the idea of it, again, is quite fun. Concept is good. We've got Alpha Try on there. And I think the Starscream one you're about to see in a second looks great. Uh, the alternate mode is pretty much borderline Tetrajet. I'm not too sure on price point in the UK for these. Uh, but as I've already said a couple of times, if I see them, I think that looks great. Look at that. If I do see these out um, in the wild, I will do a quick short, tell everybody where they are. And then I'll probably buy at least one of them just to, again, have a play. Maybe two, so me and my son can have a go and you can see exactly how they work. But there you go. So these are robot battlers. And I know you can get them from Entertainment Earth uh, because that's, of course, what the article is related to. Right, very quickly on this as well. If you want to see loads more images of these, these aren't official images. But if you want to see some more images of your Legacy United Armada Galvatron. I'm pretty sure it's that. Yes, it is. Um, he's got a new shouty face, apparently. If you head to TFW 2005, this article here will show you loads and loads more images of this particular figure. I just chose a couple, which I think that you might like to see. And also to ask you guys questions. I'm really liking these backgrounds that some of the people are doing photos in. Do you think they'd be suitable maybe to do the reviews as well? Because I'm looking at perhaps moving away from just the plain white background anyway let me know in the comments because it's something that i think i'd like to look into right okay the legacy united versus multi-pack has been found at us retail this has been found let me just see exactly where targets to be honest lots and lots of targets this particular image is from new jersey so this is the four pack with cliff jumper versus tarn squeeze play etc it seems to be popping up everywhere so just wanted to let you guys know that the same as transformers one mainline two in one optimus prime and prime and orion face masks again have been found at us retail and these also have been found at target as well these ones in particular in westminster beach boulevard california so keep your eyes out there's toys appearing everywhere right moving on again to something that we love when the designers do this evan's obviously done it recently with the new studio series optimus prime this is mark cloner's take and i like the fact that he's gone back to some figures you know that maybe only two years old already so this is of course from the toxitron universe as they called it but to i suppose anybody who knows is the unreleased g2 color deco for sideswipe one of my favorite figures um the mold's amazing they've obviously used it over and over again if you read his article he, he talks about his insights into this and again i suppose the same things about you know how how good the mold is how versatile it is how many times it's been used etc and i think the color scheme for this guy just works and he just makes the posing look so so effortless and it's something that i do need to perhaps get a little bit better at but it's interesting as i say just to read the insights into the thought processes and you know all the things that they went into on it so it's definitely worth a nose and of course there is the page from the transforms legacy book which has all the unreleased artwork if you're new to the channel you don't know anything about this particular book here type into the search on this channel transformers legacy art book or legacy book it is it's exactly that it's brilliant it's got all the box art from all of the characters including japanese apart from jetfire for, for copyright reasons but it's also got unreleased figures as well so it's definitely worth a nose if you don't know anything about it right here's a coupe for tfcon baltimore special guest peter cullen saturday and sunday i hope he comes to the uk um I, i've always pretty much said that i wouldn't perhaps pay for autographs but for him maybe i'd make an exception so there you go lucky if you're heading to tfcon baltimore you've got the opportunity to speak to him right this is another tv spot this is a uh, megatron's tank mode revealed this is an image taken from t formers this time so there is megatron in his tank mode 
this is the, uh, this is, as I say, if you head to T-Formage, you can actually click the direct link here. It is called Intro TV Spot. So it's about a minute long, to be honest. So it's quite interesting. Um, as I said in previous videos, I'm perhaps not going to watch as much because we are starting to get a bit spoiled. Right, onto some third party stuff. Uh, no shouting at me for the colours. I didn't decide them, even though it is my preferred way. But this is Magic Square's cassette uh, team. So we've obviously got Ravage. Uh, we've obviously got, I'm going to have to say it because, of course, that's what they're aiming for, Rumble. Now, I know a lot of people will disagree with this, but once again, Magic Square are making their figures based on their cartoon appearances. So uh, it doesn't, I suppose, matter which, which which one you think is which with the cartoon. Obviously, that's the colours that he wore. So just a quick reminder, this is a third party legend scale figure. So these are tiny. They're not licensed by Hasbro or Takara. Um, I've actually done reviews on Magic Square. Oh, no, it wasn't Magic Square. Sorry, it was New Age's uh, Shattered Glass Soundwave. And they're, they're both pretty much the same sort of size. Uh, so these are going to be absolutely tiny. Uh, but what I also like is the fact that I've been on their Weibo as well. And you get some really clever people. And they've managed to combine them all. So it's like some sort of Minotaur. I wouldn't know what the correct Centaur, Minotaur. I don't exactly know what the correct term would be. But it's very clever. And it's all three of them. Uh, piece together in that and because I thought it was that clever I just thought that I would uh, share that with you so there we go also a magic square there is more images of their pictures of their generation one Dinobot slag I have to say it because that's what it is unfortunately so apologies if that does offend anybody on Dr Woo's we've got a video of all of their incoming new figures using the I suppose it's the Inferno mold let's be honest to get loads of bulkheads um art fire etc and indeed wheeljack now they're en route to me so i'll be able to review them as soon as possible if you want to know where you can get loads of these things from and i hate to use the term again but i was gonna to have to use it <laughs> here's all the slags that you can order from uh show z so you've got the g2 you've got the toy deco uh there's their snarl there's more of them here there's the comic edition there's the translucent but not only that there's the takara tomi exclusive rodimus figure there is also the uh, Doom Legend Scale train bots, fans toys figures, fans hobby figures, uh, mainline masterpiece, movie masterpiece, and an abundance of others. So there you go, guys. Uh, check out Show Z Store for, I suppose, mainly your third party needs. In the meantime, as I said, I'll catch up with the Doom and Destruction. I've got, talking of third party, I'm sure I've got uh, the New Age, or at least the um, yeah, the New Age slags, they've arrived. I've got um, uh, the new acoustic, no, the Sound Blaster um, as well. I've got so much going on, guys. I will do my best to keep up with it as well as getting the comics and everything else done. As always, guys, have a great weekend, but I'll be back with you another 24 hours because I've still got loads more images to share with you. Take care.